well. Okay, see ya. Just go straight down. When you get to the end of that road. The next turn by your left. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay, the second go. house. This one the left? Yes, left. The second house by your left. Alright, thank you. That can a small boy drive a very big car. Maybe he stole it. Well, how can you say that? Asta, I know what I'm saying. Come, as soon as Papa is, Papa cannot buy common bicycle. Yeah, that small boy drive a very big car. No, He's only God that will judge you and this your big mouth. I've told you, don't say things that are not your business. Oh, yeah. Is that how people behave in this area? What happened? I went to see this guy, yeah, because he owes my father lots of money. <laughs> just mess sighting me alone. The guy just hid behind the door. Maybe he doesn't have the money to pay you now. Fine. Now that's why I have a problem with people. If you don't have much money to pay back, don't borrow so much. I like it when people or men like living to their responsibilities, but that guy, oh no, just read. And when he found out that I finally found where he was hiding, he came out to tell me he doesn't have money. You know what? I'll just tell my father to forget that man. Because the way I saw him, he's not going to pay a cover. But what do you think I should do? I don't know. Anyway, well, my name is Chris. What's your name? I'm Rose. Rose? What's your name? Oluchi. Oluchi, that's nice. Well, I'm um, a final year student, accounting, University of Joss. Well, I school in a community grammar school, SS2. Mm. That means you write your YX soon. It goes, Chris. That's nice. All the best. Is that your car? Uh, no, that's my father's car. Where does your father work that he owns that big car? Oluchi. My father is a petroleum engineer. Hmm? It means he works in an oil company. Okay? <laughs> Maybe someday you become an engineer. Huh? You like that? That would be good. Anyway, Rose, it was nice to see you. Hope to see you some other time. Okay, okay? thank you very much. Take care. Bye, girl. Now you know this stuff. Are you satisfied? Come back early today so you can go to the room to, to buy some plantain for me, please. Mama, I can't. Why? Mama, I have a test to write today. But I can't leave your father in his present condition. You know that. If you don't go, I won't have anything to sell this evening, even tomorrow. Mama, please now, let us just try and manage. See, I missed two tests already, and exams is just two weeks away. Jesus. Okay. I think I should beg uh, Mama Ada to put her eyes on your father while I run to the market. But when you're coming back, help me brush to Mama Uche's place. Tell her to borrow me 500 naira. So as to buy drugs for your father. I'll no give her back next week. Let's go. Mama, we should stop borrowing money from people because Papa cannot run when they come to ask for their money. <laughs> My dear. I wish it was easy to stop borrowing money. But you won't understand. I'll go to school and come. Mama, don't mind. It's <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Mama, 
Get me my, get me my drawers. There are no drugs remaining here. The last one I gave him last night is finished. Everything is left over here. There's no money again. Go to the chemist. Tell him to give you those medicines. He knows it. Mama, you won't give me the, the, the no. I want to buy the market to buy plantain with this. Mama, give me the plantain money. Let me use and buy the, the medicine. The man will refuse to give me on credit again. I'm going to see that guy. That guy hasn't paid till now. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I have to hurry. My, my father is very sick. I, I need to get some drugs. Father? Out. Sick? What happened? He's been sick for three years now, and I don't, I don't know what it is. Three years? I, I, have you taken him to the hospital? You know, all these oh, no, drugs. No, 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 we don't have money. We can't afford what Hey! Did I scare you? <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's up? Fine. Where are you coming from? I, I went to collect my passport photograph um, for my jam form. Okay, your jam is coming up soon, yeah? Alright. Can I see your passport? Please. Yeah, sorry about the other day, you know. I just... I guess we're pretty in a hurry also. Oh my god. You look beautiful. Thank you. Hmm. This is nice. Certainly not the same girl I'm seeing over here. Can I keep the one? Can I keep one? If you like. Thank you. What's the matter? You don't look happy. I'm fine. I'm okay. No, you're not. How's your father? It's not well. It's getting worse and we don't even forget it. I'm sorry. Um please. Here. Thank you. Um, I, I can't take it. Come on, take it. But I took your picture, didn't I? That was because you asked for it. Okay. And I'm also asking you to take this. Thank you very much. Alright, you just take that to take care of yourself, okay? Alright, I'll be see you around. And good luck with the exams, yeah?
Daddy. How are you, Chris? I'm good. I can see you had a great day, my dear. Yes. And I have great news. My transfer to Port Harcourt has finally been approved. Oh. <laughs> and we are relocating to Port Harcourt at the end of the month. Oh, really? This is wonderful. Now my office don't have a choice but to approve my transfer. Honey, I can't wait to get out of this rowdy city. Lagos is full, Mom. I will miss all my friends. Why don't you ask one of their parents to adopt you so you can stay in Lagos permanently? I didn't mention your name. I don't know what you are doing in Lagos. Why all your mates are in school? School! That's where you ought to be so you can know what happens in the real world. That's enough for both of you! I can't understand why two of you keep picking on each other. Mommy, ask him. My darling, your food is ready. Jude. Yes, ma'am. Call Gloria for me. Okay, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Well, Daddy, yeah. I hope what they're taking you to now will be very big. Ah, very, very big, and it has to be good. I'm fine. I'm fine. What's up? Um, evening. You remember that thing I told you about my father wanting the transfer to Port Harcourt? Yes, yes, I remember. It's it's been confirmed. Um, what? He's actually going, and we're all relocating. Chris. So this is how you're going to completely abandon me? Why? I have barely tolerated your absence all the while you were in school. And now you want to elope away from me forever? Okay, what, okay, what, what, what excuse do you want me to give them? I mean, you know I don't school here in Lagos. What would be my reason to want to stay now? What? Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. You know your father can get you an accommodation here. Must you go with them? Um, you know what? Listen, listen, I'm sorry. I see. So I now mean nothing to you. I have no importance in your life. Chris, you know I never wanted this relationship. But you came preaching about how much you loved me. And now that my mind is beginning to set on it, you want to abandon me and run off to Potter Court? Chris, it's not fair. It's not fair. You know I care about you very much and I love you. You're wicked. You're wicked. What is going to happen to me now? How am I going to take care of myself? I was hoping you were going to put me in school and pay my school fees. But now all my academic dreams have been dashed away. But... Okay, you know what? We'll work something out. I, I'll, be, I'll be coming to see you from time to time. You liar. You're a liar, Chris. Listen, let me tell you. I would not sit and let my life waste away. I will get somebody that is more reliable and responsible. And I will go on with my life. Please, now. I will come from time to time. I wish I never met you. Oh, God. Okay, uh, hello? 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 You left school again before closing hours without telling me. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it was an emergency. I had to leave. Anyway, your boyfriend came looking for you in school today. Boyfriend? Which boyfriend is that? <laughs> Who else? That rich man's son that is always coming to look for you now. Hey, Barry, I have told you, that boy is not my boyfriend. He's just a friend. Story. You think I didn't see the way you guys were eyeing each other the last time he came to school? Hey, Barry, stop it all. What if my mother comes out and hears this one you're saying now? What will I say? I said the boy is my friend. It's, it's not... okay, I've heard. Oh. I have a letter for you. From who now? Who else? Your boyfriend. All this money? What for now? Oh, 
I mean, what kind of guy gives a girl this kind of money if you are not doing naughty things with him by the corner? Eber, you're so rotten. I am not like you. Yeah? Okay, let me read the letter. Just read it. Let's know what our lover boy is talking about. What does it say? He's relocating with his family to Putakot. Does that mean you're not seeing him again? That means you won't be seeing him as my boyfriend again. <laughs> now you sabi. I beg. Uh -huh, tell me, Joe, how was the last class? Matt, now. Yeah. That man beats me. Eh. What did you do now? I failed now. Hey, so for not head. I got so far over ten. How is your mother? Mama, what is it? I could not lay my hands on anything I went out for. I don't know what to do. Hey, there's no money in this house anymore. So your father's sickness has taken away everything from us. Nothing. Mama. Mama, don't worry. I, I, I have some money. Ten thousand. Who gave it to you, Mama? It's um, it's uh, it's one man. He's just a friend, though. Yes. A man gave you ten thousand naira. He's just a friend. What did you do, Mama? I, I did not do anything. He just gave me the money. You didn't do anything, and they gave you ten thousand naira. Hey, Rose. So you've been seeing a man, Mama. I'm not seeing any man. Rose, did you not promise not to disgrace me? Did you not? How many times did I beg you to preserve your virginity? And the man is giving you 10,000 naira. Hmm. Now tell me, how many men have you been sleeping with? Mama. Eh? Men. Hey. Mama, I'm not been sleeping with any man. He just gave it to me. He's just a friend. Hmm. You know I am your mother, and I'm sure you find out if you are a virgin or not. Mama, Mama, I didn't do anything. The man just gave me the money. Hey, wait. Come this way. Now I'm a
Papa, sorry. I'm going to Papa, no. Ah, I know Papa, 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 Why is he saying not a bit? Ah, ah, this is from down this one. Let her try and make Ah, ah, switch off. Why is he saying not available? Maybe the network is bad. Does so it mean that this guy gave me a wrong number? I saw all these men who they give fine get fake fake number. Maybe go come try and again next time. Number, then I'm give food number. Oh, no, they give food number. I think they make a year. Oh, now, so you talk like say, be better Oh, see, what? Serve me with this cold meal. But I called you over an hour ago. You called me? When? What is it? Mom warned us your house, girl. I swear to God, I'll break her neck if she continues to insult me in this house. Okay, what is the problem again? Madam, I served this food and. Shut up! She didn't ask you. Can you imagine this girl? I told her I was hungry. Yet you wasted more than one hour before serving me with this cold meal. And why did you do a thing like that? Madam, it's a lie. I said this food for over Are you an calling me a liar? Are you calling me a liar? It's okay, I get it. It's okay. It's okay. And you, I don't know why you let people complain about you all the time. Come on, carry this food and go and warm it and serve it correctly. I don't know what your problem is. Mom, she's really getting on my nerves. It's okay, she'll soon get your food, okay? It's all right. Let me just come make sure she's doing it. See, I've told you to leave me alone. 
Because no matter what you do, I won't sleep with you anymore. Why should you refuse me? Huh? A common house girl like you. You're not even happy that I even touch you. See, and if you touch me again, I will tell your parents about it. <laughs> My parents, you think they'll believe you? You're a very big fool. I'll advise you to change us. I'll throw you out of this house. Oh, you will throw me out. Are you the one that employed me? Or you think if I leave this house today, I don't have somewhere else to go to? Look at this fool. That was dark from the gutters. What do you have? You will only end up sleeping under the bridge. Come on, get out of my sight, dirty girl. Yes, I am now a dirty girl. No problem. All I know is that you won't touch me anymore. Oh, my friend, come on, get out. Get, get out of my sight. Stupid thing. Get out. Smelling thing. You're not even happy that I touched you. Julia, Julia, why this sudden decision to leave? Did we maltreat you in any way? No, ma'am. But I really have to go. I have to Just listen, Julia. If you need an increase in your salary, please say so instead of working out on the job. Eh? I'm sure we can still accommodate a little increment on your salary. Julia, look, listen. We like you very much and we don't want you to leave. Okay? My mind is made up, ma. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't. She be I'm begging you. Oh? Don't you don't have to leave, okay? Hmm? Please. Mom? What's the problem, Mom? You came, I don't understand. I mean, why she has suddenly decided to leave? She wants to go. Huh? She wants to go. And you're begging her? Of course I'm begging her. Why would she grow wings? When all you and dad do is just beg people, keep pampering people who are nothing. Imagine this fool that was picked up from the gutters and cleaned up just yesterday. He came! Let her go. Let her go with her bad luck. All her type enjoys is wanting poverty. Mom, let her go. Julian! Let her Jul go, Mom. Uh, she sees she's a very dirty girl. The whole place is dirty. Let her go. I don't even like her. Enough that uh, Rose and Oluji had to drop out of school for lack of school fees. You mean you don't have even for one of them? Eh? Huh? So I'll pay you back. Please don't misunderstand me. You know this my childlessness is milking me dry, and my husband is not helping matters at all. Anyway, I'll go. Tell me that I don't know where else to go. Bye bye. I, I will see you. Uh, please come, come. I just want to come, 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 come and see. There is this family, Chifoji's family. I heard they are looking for a house. In fact, their last house help, they say I heard they sent her to the university. What are you saying? I'm not suggesting anything, no, but what I'm saying is instead of going about here and there begging for money, why don't you give up your daughter Rose to go and take up a job there? They will pay her salary, they will send her to the university. A huge burden will be relieved of you, I think so. That's my suggestion. Mm. How could you suggest that my daughter go, goes for a housemaid? What difference does I, I, I don't know, but I thought we were friends. I don't mean housemaid, I mean house help. Where salaries will be paid, where you, they will send her to the university. And it will relieve you of your body, you no? Know? I don't mean any harm, my dear friend. Thank it's you. better than going about here and there begging hey, for money. I've heard you. My daughter, I did not bring her up eh, for a housemaid. And my daughter that I know, Rose, she will never, never accept such job. Yeah. Please don't sit she down here not. and conclude. She might like the job. I suggest you go and talk with her and get back to me. That's my suggestion. Thank you. 
Okay, my friend. Uh, when you get to greet the children for me, I'm sorry, oh, uh, eh? Look for a job. Job? What kind of job are you looking for? A sales girl too. Is that the reason why you should not tell me? I was worried. I, I thought something had happened to you. Mama, you fucked up. Something really happened to me. Eh? Hmm. That man I went to look for work in his office. Do you know what he did? He just locked the door and said she started undressing me. Hey! Did you remove your clothes? Eh? Mama me? Of course, I started shouting. Hey, I started crying, shouting. I started hitting the door. I said that she opened the door for me. Yeah. When he now found out that the noise was too much, he now opened the door and said that she go. That was how I left her, but without the job. Hey, don't take that that risk, that kind of risk any anymore. Do you, do you know that that man could have raped you if he did not shout? Mama, I know, I know, but I mean, I still have to get a job. At least to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. I'm even considering going for that house girl job. I thought we agreed you were not going to do it. Um, what other option do we have? We don't have any other choice. I mean, things are getting worse by the day. I would need this money badly. Mm. Shame you said I could go to school from them. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. At least that one is guaranteed. Let me just go and Google take that one that I've yeah. seen. God bless you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mama, I'm very happy. I'm very homeless with When exactly did you drop out of school? Earlier this year. What class were you then? SS2. You want to continue your school? Yes, sir. I actually hope to finish and go to the university. Mm.
Do you have a boyfriend? No. No, I, I don't have a boyfriend. I I don't need one now, sir. That's my late daughter, Princess. She was smart, intelligent, and beautiful like you. But she died. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that, sir. She was stabbed to death three years ago by her jealous boyfriend. Oh my God. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Rose, the moment you walked in here, the whole memories came back to me afresh. I thought I did feel better if I told you. Now, listen to me. When you go back to school, mind your studies. Don't bother about those recastrant boys. There is time for everything. Thank you, sir. My mother also told me the same thing. I'm very sorry about this, sir. We are doing some work in the kitchen. Yes, sir. Go back and continue your work. with your job? Ha. Mama, in fact, I'm enjoying the place. Eh? There is no much work there. Really? I never knew that rich people could be so nice. Mm. These people are so nice. It's just the man and the wife. Do you know they even treat me as if I'm their own daughter? Eh? In fact, I already feel as if I'm part of that family. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mama, Mama do you mm. know that place is another paradise? They don't take light at all. There's always light in the house. Sister is a lie. How would they take light in that side when they used to take lights in our side every day? Hey, I didn't say they don't take lights. Whenever light goes off, um, this thing, generator will just come in boo, 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 and there will be light everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like that so all the time. Hey. And Mama, I'm even going back to school next month. Hey. God, I thank you. Jesus Christ is hearing my prayer. Are you sure? Yes, now. Thank God. I thank God that they take you as their own child. In fact, you don't have many good people again in this world. Hey! Give me now. You should be going now. I don't want them to ever come into the house and don't find you. No problem. Mama, give me the book. Hey, take. No, it's only so much that they get so, so so what I'm doing. Do they have uh, sugar there? We have sugar. There's milk, everything. Do you think I'm going to go and drink the guy with salt? Hey. It's sugar and milk. <laughs> be humble, eh? Yes. Respect them, bro. Oh. Please, mom. Thank you. Wait, do your own time go. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was why he was bringing all sorts of uh, brick and stuff. I know, but nothing compared to what we did here for them now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I watch you and uh, the wife. Uh, 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 <laughs> we bet. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Aha! Hi, Dabs. Hello. Hi, Kay. Okay. Hi, Dad. Okay. Don't tell me that the semester is already ended or you have run out of cash as usual. Well, Dad, we're on break right now. Alright? And um, <laughs> there is no more cash. Oh, I told you. <laughs> so, how are you, my dear? I'm fine. Mom? Yes, dear. Who is this? Oh, that's our new house help. Very hardworking. Not like that lazy and good for nothing, Julian. Mm -hmm. This is our son, Aike. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, anyway, Mom, I think I need to drop my bag now. Please do, I oh, should come okay. and give you something to eat, okay? <laughs> Something to eat, okay? Okay, should I carry this? No, don't worry. <laughs> See, if you just ask um, if your son will eat something, you've not asked me. But I know you've eaten. Yes. But even if you want to eat more, I can still do it. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just uh, trying to. Anybody teach you that when you cook, you must add enough salt for taste? I'm sorry, but you said you don't like much salt in your food. You're a big for nothing fool. Why didn't you slice uh, um, cucumber and raw okra for me to eat instead? I'm sorry. Come get out and get me salt to eat. Come back here! When I send you a message, you run. Did you hear me? You run before I kick your silly ass. Were you not told that there is a prince in this house? Huh? Okay, maybe you don't know. 
Now let me enlighten you a little bit. I am the prince of this house. The heir apparent of my father's empire. So everything in this house, including the house girl, belong to me. Um, I'm sorry, sir. I did not mean to offend you. Shut up! Now listen to my instructions. I am on a long vacation. My needs must be attended to with precision. My room must be tidy and sparkling. My clothes must be washed and ironed, neatly ironed at all times. I repeat, at all times. If I ever find any dust on my goosey shoes, <laughs> I will skin you alive. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Most importantly, my bed must be made before 6.30 a.m. in the morning. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. So, what are you still doing here? Sir? Come on, go and make my room for me. Rubbish. Old pregnant woman that is about to have a miscarriage. How many times have I told you that when I call you, you run like a mad dog? I'm sorry. Ask my baby what she wants to drink. Anything soft will do. Come back here. Did you ask her? She said any soft will do. You're such a daft. So you mean you cannot tell her that we have assorted drinks? Huh? More weights? Irish cream? Champagne? Darling, you don't need to walk yourself up. All these house helps can be funny at times. This one is the funniest. She's so uncultured and dumb. Come on, go and get her Irish cream and more weights and chant done for me. If you like, go and stand at the bar like a dunce. I doubt if you can even read at all. You're always like that, you know. I even have one in my house. She's very, very dirty. She can't even wash my clothes. Too bad. So, did you miss me? Of course I did. I couldn't wait to see you. Really? Yeah. So, now that you've seen me, what next? I hmm? don't know. After the drink, I'll take you right upstairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give you what you want. <laughs> Look at this girl. What is wrong with this girl? 
Huh? Why are you crying in my father's house? Whoever told you that this is a hammer house of sorrow? What have I done to deserve so much humiliation from you? Ever since you came back from school, all I get from you are threats, insults and humiliations. Is it a crime that I came to work in your father's house? <laughs> well, as a mate, what do you expect? Huh? What do you expect? Should be able to absorb some little insult, you know? I am not your maid. I work like every honorable person just to earn an honest salary. The fact that I work for your father does not make me your slave. <laughs> well, <laughs> you cannot glorify your job and make it look like you work in a bank or a doctor or lawyer or something. Well, I am proud of the job that I do. And whether you or anyone else likes it or not, you can never make me feel less. Just try and do your job, okay? Just try and do your job and uh, I'll try not to insult you again or harass you, alright? I'm sorry. Let me tell you something. I intend to pay my way through school and study a course of my choice, whether you like it or not. I don't blame you. But for my family condition that put me in this situation, you wouldn't be here insulting and harassing me at random. Well, um, well, I'm sorry, okay? I just do your job very well and I'll try as much as possible not to insult or harass you anymore. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Money yet for you to go back to school. You saw what happened the other day, how the landlord was throwing our things out of the house. I had to gather all that I had to pay the house rent. Exercise patience now. I am tired of having patience, Mama. Every day, no money, no money. Now my friends don't call me a school dropout. God forbid. My dear, you can never be a dropout. Then I am alive. Only for my school fees now. Oh. Hey, Mama. Rose, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine. What is wrong with this one? I don't know. Ask her. What is wrong with you? Everybody says I am a school job, but tell mama to give me money for my school fees. Mm, don't worry. Hmm? Mama, they just paid me my salary. Eh? So on Monday, we will go to school. You pay your fees, I'll pay my fees, and then we'll start going back to school. Sister, thank you. It's okay. God bless you, my daughter. Oh, thank okay. you. Hey, this salary will be the beginning of the end of our tears in this house. Amen. Amen now. Amen. <laughs> Mama, eh? let me go. Okay. I'll come back when I'm done. Hey. Keep the money well for me. Bye-bye. Hey. My God, I thank you. You continue your good work eh? in this family. Very fine. Very an honor be unto your holy name. Amen. I'd rather stand, sir. Um, I am still on duty. Please. No, thank you. Um, I'm still working. I'd rather stand. Well, um, 
Tell me more about yourself. There's nothing to tell. I want to know. I said there's nothing to tell. I want to sincerely apologize to you for all the humiliations. I was only trying to get your attention. You see, I must be sincere with you. I fell in love with you the very first day I set my eyes on you. I thought I could easily have my way with you. But there is this aura and compartment about you that I couldn't just penetrate. I guess that made me a little bit angry and hostile to you. So, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, can I go back to my work? The things you said about yourself the other day confirmed how special you are. Rose, I want you to be my woman. And I promise to take good care of you. Thank you very much, but... I'm not ready to have any boyfriend now. I just want to concentrate on my job and take care of my family, pay my school fees and, you know, help my mother out, that's all. Listen, Rose, listen to me. We can achieve all that together. You see, so long as I live, I promise to take good care of you. And you and your parents will never lack anything, okay? Listen, as soon as I graduate from school, we'll get married. You and your parents can move into this house, okay? And I'll better still, we can get our own house. Please, I, I'd like to be left alone. Like I said, I'm not ready to have a boyfriend now. I just want to concentrate on this job and, you know, make something out of my life. So, Rose, I want you to think about this, all right? I love you so much, and I'm prepared to get married to you. Think about it, Rose. Things to do in the kitchen, and besides, after that, I'm going to have to go wash the bathroom. Listen, I want you to watch this movie with me, okay? It's interesting, you'll like it. I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't sit down and watch movies when I have lots of work to do in the kitchen. Aren't you ever tired of working? Relax, baby. Take a break. Come on. Okay, all right, all right. I'll help you out with some of the works after this movie, okay? Oh, come on, Rose. Can't you understand? I'm just trying to make up with you, all right? The name of the movie is uh, Your Connection. Hello, darling. How are you? Hi. Now, uh, I see you now watch movies with your house help. 
Who are you talking about? This riffraff, of course. Why is she sitting down here? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? Why are you calling her a riffraff? Huh? You that don't even know your left from right. What makes you think you're better than her? Huh? She has ambition. She's intelligent. She's more beautiful. What do you have? What do you have? Blockhead. You can't even pass your GC. All you know is money, money, money. I can't believe this. I, you are insulting me just because of this common house. Come on, get out of my house. Get out of here. It's obvious you've been sleeping with her. I know how cheap you can be. Now get out of my house. God, what have I been doing with this dumb skull? I, what is this? What have I done? Are you still listening to me? What has come over you? No, you get out of here. Get out of here, my friend. Get out. Come on, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. What did you do that for? That girl is a nuisance. She don't have any right to talk to you like that. God, you're just, you're just a specialist in humiliating people. God! Rose! Rose! Rose, 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 listen. Listen to me, okay? It's obvious I have a lot to learn from you. Please, open up your heart to me, all right? I love you so much. I, I couldn't just stand that girl talk to you like that. Look, Eike, you've, you've, got, you've gotten me all confused. I don't even know if I should believe you or not. Rose, you have to believe me, okay? I love you so much, I can do anything, anything to prove my love to you. Come on, Rose, I love you so much. I can do anything, just name it. Okay. What about your, your parents? She know they'll never approve of us. There won't be your problem. Alright? I'll convince them. You know they love you. They already take you like their own daughter. Come on, Rose. Nobody can come in between us. I love you so much. And stop seeing yourself like an like a house girl. You are not. You are just an honorable lady. Rose, come on, I love you so much. I love you with all my heart. Anytime I look at your face, I see my future wife. I love you so much, Rose. Okay? I love you. Rose. Sent me on errand this morning before he left with mom. But don't worry, I'll be back very soon. Okay. And I can't just wait to have you in my arms once more. Do you want more of me? No. Go hey. away. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I know you want more of me. <laughs> hmm? No. Listen, I won't take long. I'll be back very soon. What do I get to you? Anything. Hey, ice cream? Fast food? Anything you like. Alright. Okay. It's a good one now. Alright? Stop being shy. Kiss. No. Mm -mm.
Good evening. Yeah, you closed already? Yes. Okay. Dad sent me to go and pick something for him, so I decided to pass through this way. Why don't you come in? Let me drop you off, you and your friend. Okay. clothes and left it outside for three good days. Why? It's okay. Calm down. I'm sure she forgot. Hmm? Calm down. You know she is a good girl. Not like that lazy Julian we had that almost turned this whole house into a dog's house. Mom, stop flattering her. You, 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 you make it get into her head. Mom, you know she's a good girl. Please, sorry, okay? You, why did you do that? Later you apologize to him. Okay? Yes, ma'am. You know, men, sometimes they get unnecessarily difficult. But later you apologize to him, okay? Yes, ma'am. Good. Anyway, I came to inform you that we'll be eating jello fries, chicken, and salad this evening. Okay, I'll come and prepare it now, ma'am. Hurry. Why are you crying? Huh? Did you spoil anything? Don't spoil your beautiful face with tears. I, I can't stand seeing you like this. If there's anything you spoil or destroy, just let me know and make sure you don't get punished. Did you know? I never seen my period. My period was supposed to come last week Tuesday, but it hasn't come. And then my mother told me that when a girl misses her period, that means she's pregnant. That means I'm pregnant. You're not pregnant. Okay? You are not pregnant. You shouldn't say it. See, even that my useless ex-girlfriend, sometimes she misses hers for three weeks or one month, yet it comes, okay? Come on, don't bother yourself. You'll see it. I can't. I am scared. <laughs> I mean, what if I'm actually pregnant? What will I do? That means I, I cannot go back to school again. What will I do? You're not pregnant. Okay? Even if you were, I'll get married to you. Alright? And you go back to school. Nobody can stop you so long as you are legally married. Alright? 
Come and wipe your tears. My heart was playing games with me. But man, now I realize that I love that girl so much. Rose is the bomb. You really need to see her. Then I plan to get married to her, man. <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. How do you mean? You can't stoop so low. House girl? Man, what would people say? <laughs> man, damn. Oh, come on, Effie. You don't understand. Rose is unique. She has this special personality inside of her. She has this kind of inner glory. You really need to see her. I'm telling the truth. She can't be. She's nothing but a house girl. And besides, she's way below your class. There's nothing wrong in you sleeping with her. But there's everything wrong in you getting married to her. Listen, marriage is a lifetime project. And there are babes of your class out there that you can choose from. Babes with a good family background that you can fall back on if the need be. But all you hear from your house girl is nothing but liabilities. supposed to know? But she says that it's possible. Me? My God! That what sort of embarrassment is this? I mean, how can you present me before a common house girl just like that? And you, Rose, are you such a cheap gold digger? How many times have I had cause to warn you or offer the silly price you run around with in this world? How many times? Thank you. 
big disappointment. You came into this house pretending to be a good girl. And we took you in and treated you like our own daughter. Not knowing that you've been messing yourself around the whole estate. The boy is like a dog. Now you want to pin it on my son. Listen to me. First thing tomorrow morning, I want you to pack your things and leave this house. Have you heard me? Such a shame These things where this men they do Just to give her a bad name She tried, yes she tried To be a good girl all her life But it seems that the man that she follows Don't know the road to tomorrow What is this that I'm going through? He loved me today in my school. I have missed you so much. Yeah, right. You. That's why you gave me a wrong number, right? Oh, no, 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 no. See what happened, okay? The day I left Port Harcourt, my phone got missing. I have to get another number. Oh, well, it's okay. Um, thank you very much for the gift you sent me through my friend. Oh, please. please. That was like ages ago. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, come on, meet my girlfriend. Hey, girls. Meet my long lost friends. This is Chris. Chris, this is Linda, okay. Isabel, and Vivian. Christabel. Hi. Chris, nice to meet you all. So, you have some of mine. But I have something to show you. What is this? Oh my god. You still have this? Mm hmm. I look at it anytime I need to smile. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm so touched. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me, what did you come to my school to do? Pick up your girlfriend? Oh, far from that. My brother actually schooled here at the engineering department, so I just came to see him. Really? Mm hmm. Wow, what a small world. You can say that again. Um, it's okay. You know what? what? Could we go see my brother from there? We could just go have a drink somewhere. What do you say? Okay. Right Sorry. You girls have to go alone. I'll, I'll, I'll. Okay, you know what? I'll just do that for a couple of hours. That's all, okay? Yeah, all right. All right. Take right. care, girls.
I'm really sorry about your dad. It's quite sad. So, what else? What else has been happening in your life? Well, things have been very rough for us. We had to drop out of school because there was no money to pay fees and other expenditures. I had to involve myself in some menial jobs just to make ends meet. Some things happened. Well, thank God I'm, I was able to, you know, overcome them and then move on with life. Now, I'm in the university, first year accountancy. It's still struggle, struggle though. But I thank God I have life. The saying goes that when there's life, there's hope. So I can't say that. I have hope for tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's quite remarkable. A remarkable lady, you know. Yeah. Despite all odds, you still had focus and you forge your head in life. That's impressive. <laughs> I missed all these soothing words. <laughs> really missed them. Uh, I missed them too. <laughs> you know, one of the regrets I had about leaving Lagos was losing the opportunity to know you better. Well, so... Tell me about your missing years. Oh, that. Well, there's nothing much to tell, really. My parents are still in Port Harcourt. When I was still at NYC, uh, my parents sent me to the US for my master's. While I was schooling, I took up a job, you know, in a telecoms company. And um, a few months ago, they decided, you know, they needed some African touch, you know, spread mm. their wings a little. So I was asked to come down to Lagos to help in um, starting up a new branch. Um, I'd like to ask you a question. Shoot. Why were you telling me all those things you told me the first day we met? Honestly? Mm hmm I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you know. I I just thought I felt comfortable in your presence. No? It happens to the best of us. Um I I missed you. I missed you too. I really did. So tell me, are you in any relationship now? No. What about you? I was about initiating one, but it's cancelled from this moment. Well. <sighs> <laughs> this is a 36 karat gold. Now I'm giving this to you because I wish and I pray to God you will be my wife. Oh my God! And this is the key to a flat your mother will move into. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> I love you, my love. I love you.
I said that the man gave her money. 10,000 Naira. Hey! I was mad at her. Ask her. I said, what manner of man could give a young girl as this such huge amount of money without anything in return? <laughs> but now I understand. It is what Oyibo calls love at first sight. sight. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. My dear, are your parents aware of this marriage arrangement? Oh, yes, ma. They are, in fact, they are, they are aware uh, of my intentions. They are eager to see her. They just can't wait. Oh. As soon as we get your blessings, we intend to go to Port Harcourt to meet them. Adam, I've always prayed that my daughter will one day meet a responsible man that will love her. Marry and cherish her love. Now that God has answered my prayer, I should give you my blessings. <laughs> thank you thank very you. much. Thank You're you, Mama. Thank you. You're uh, Rose. Yes, Ma. I shall meet your uncle and some other family members. Okay. So as to fix a date that he will come with his people. I hope you're not in a hurry. Oh no, I understand the traditional protocols <laughs> completely. <laughs> yes, ma. As whichever date you set is just fine by me. <laughs> yes, ma. <laughs> the important thing is to carry her home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mama, let me get get him something to okay, eat. Dear. Come on, help me. All right. <laughs> oh. Ma, I, I must say you've raised. My dear. two wonderful dogs. Really? Yes, ma'am. Don't you make it? What? Oh, come on. Everybody is here. Of course they came. Yes, you know why? Because I was in the village getting married. Man, whatever. You missed, man. You missed. The wedding was beautiful. Of course. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Come on, Austin. Come on. I just had my traditional wedding. Give me some time first now before we talk of the white wedding. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. No, fine. She's fine. Everybody's good. I'm just tired. We just got into town. Mm. Okay, sure, fine. We'll let you know. Okay, you take care now. No, 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 you know what, just reserve your ticket when it's time for the white wedding. I'll contact you and you can come over. No excuses this time, oh. don't tell me traffic held you up and all that. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye. Sweetie, who was that? That was Austin. Oh, <laughs> so what was his excuse? He missed his flight, said he got stuck in traffic. Yeah, right. <laughs> tell him he missed every bit of the action. Yes, what was asking when we're going to have the white wedding. And I'm like, bros, I just had the traditional wedding now. Well, I was recovering. You know? first, you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what are you girls looking at? Uh-uh, yeah. mm. please, no. Uh -uh. What is your own? Sure feels good to be married. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can say that again. You know, I was actually trying to show her. You remember that time she was dancing now with that guy? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know See what? Her back up. You guys, you guys look so good together. What? This short for me? <laughs> I thought you used to be in love with Shaken. Ah, please, no, 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 no way, no way. You know, sweet, I'm actually thinking, we could do some booking up here. Uh -huh. Like, Austin and she. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Is it all? Man, sorry oh. to support you, baby. He's Stop. short. Forget. He's really short. Don't forget it. I don't want to. I think you have this thing with Shaken, guys. You know, this is good. This one. Yeah. I, I really love this picture. This one with this big thumb. <laughs> this guy, the, the, the guy that, uh, the international... It's all 
going to run. Hey! This is too much, it's growing bigger and bigger every day. I suspect your husband is still pumping it. You can say that again. You know nowadays, he sings my praises. Wow. Or like before where he calls me a witch. <laughs> that is mean for you. Without a baby in the house, a man's love for his wife, it's suspect. I can, I can mm. understand. Well, what would I have done without your help and encouragement? Oh my God. This is well. Thank you. The Almighty God is still in control. Thank you. Well, I was on my way to the hospital that I decided to pass by, see you, and drop this food for you. I got them from my garden. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Thank you very much. This is what your soul found. Has going to be. Thank God. Is it talk to me? Nothing, I'm just moody, that's all. Come on, you can tell me what the problem is. Okay, please just talk to me now. Are you sure you want to hear about this? Of course I want to hear. I'm your wife. I should know what makes you so unhappy, darling. We've been married six months now. No pregnancy to show for it. What's wrong? I don't know. Honestly, I am. I've been wondering too. I spoke with my mother about it and she said I should be patient. That God gives children. Yes. But we also have to help ourselves for God to help us. We should see a doctor tomorrow. What do you think? I think we should. We'll go there tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow is fine. Sweetie, don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? I'll give you beautiful children. Beautiful kids that look just like you. Okay? prolactin level is okay your active sperm mobility is over 80 percent and your sperm count is over 25 million that's good that shows you're medically okay you don't have any problem but about your wife I have some reservations doctor is something wrong with my wife? Well, I'm afraid so. Um, now, madam, I don't know how to put it, but can I ask you a direct question? Did you at any time tamper with your womb? Well, it was not properly done. 
the result is that um, some remains of the fetus are still lingering in the uterus, thereby preventing conception. Conception. What well, happens to disgrace me? Well, what happens to disgrace me? Hey, after all your promises, I'm worn out. Just have a what am I going to tell my friends? How do I walk the street with a straight face? Why, Rose? Why? Why? He promised to marry me. Has he married you now? He said he was going to marry me. That was why. Has he married you? Eh? Hey! You should have thought of that before you shamelessly open your leg to a man. See how you have spread everything. What do we do now? Because you cannot go back to school. The little income you were earning is no more. You can't go back to school now. You can't. Nothing is gone. Hey! Mama, please, what will I do? Mama, what will I do? What will I do? I don't want to stay back home. Nothing. Then you're going to stay at home. Bear the child and nothing. This is what you should do. Let's go. What else do you want me to say? What else? <laughs> stupid. How could you believe a guy who treated you so badly could suddenly change? Now he has gotten what he wanted from you and he has left you stranded. So, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. So, you have to know it. My, my mother will not be a part of this. I, I can't remove it, Miriam. Is it your mother's life or your life? You have to remove it before things get worse. Don't you know what it means? It means you have to leave school. You won't be able to get a man to marry you because it is believed that bearing a child in secondary school means the girl is wayward. Think about it. What, 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 what if I die? God forbid, you won't die. Look, I hear early pregnancy is easier to remove. So I'll just take you to a man that I know that is very good. He knows a very good doctor that can remove it at a very cheap price. And it's safe. So think about it so that you can remove it sharp sharp. That way your friend that I've been doing it here, uh, they did. My, my, my friend told me that it's, it's very painful. Painful? She's carrying you. You know you Just lie down, stretch up your legs.
you do it? Why? It's a sin. Why did you do that now? Eh? Mama, I know I'm sorry. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring another burden to you or anyone else in the form of an unwanted pregnancy. I have to do it, Mama. You shouldn't have done this. You would have managed. Hey! You Killed me, my dear. Huh? She made the thing you're bleeding. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I want to go back to school. And we have too much problems already now. I didn't want to bring this one and put on anybody's shoulders again. This is the same. I'm sorry. It's the blood all over you. Am I too cool? You had an abortion? No, Mr. Chris. Um, take it easy, okay? It's it's something that can be rectified. It's it's really no big thing. Um, what needs to be done is just some proper clearing of the uterus of some remains. I mean, some leftover of the improper DNC so that she can conceive again. It's really no problem. To marriage. You thought I'd never know. Oh, I intended telling you. Oh, you intended telling me when I'm dead and buried, huh? How could you descend so low? How could you deceive me? You were a plaything of some stupid animal, and you pretended to be Holy Virgin Mary. Please, 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 just try to understand, okay? Like, Try to understand. Oh, save your breath! I am no more interested in this marriage. Period. What? Oh, Chris, you can't do this. The, the wedding has already been fixed. It is cancelled. No more wedding, no more marriage. You better be gone by the time I'm back. Yes, 
still one more I, I want you to know. Oh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where are you packing your things to? I've been recalled to the US, my head office. Someone else is taking my place here. Huh? And you are living without your wife. What about your wedding? Oh, please, don't upset me. Do not pretend you do not know what's on board now. The wedding, the marriage, everything is cancelled. Okay. Your daughter lied to me. She deceived me. Listen, my son. My dear, you don't take such rash decision over a weighty matter as wedding, marriage. No. What happened was a great mistake, which I knew. You see, Rose was young and naive. In fact, if you know the circumstances, I, I, I don't want to discuss this matter. I don't. As a matter of fact, I don't care. Thank God my transfer came at this moment. God, how would I have coped? This, this, this. Oh, oh, God. Listen, where are you now? Let's go. Oh, well. Um, anyway, I appreciate all you did for us. But this is not right. It's not. So I had advised. Woman, leave me alone. I said I am not getting married anymore. Are you going to force me? Go and advise your daughter, please. But I have to talk to you. Can we, please, can we leave? I have a flight to catch. Please, can we leave? Thank you. Grace. Please, madam, leave. Please. You have cried out almost all the water in your body. What do you want me to do, my dear? Eh? What will I do if you fall sick now? Tell me. <laughs> Please, have mercy on your mother. You know I don't have anybody. Yes? Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, mom. Thank God you're here. Please help me talk to your friend. She has refused to eat anything since yesterday. I don't know what to do. I've begged her to stop crying. She wouldn't listen. Rose, you can't continue like this. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough that it has happened. Don't punish yourself any further, please. God, why is my life like this? Why is my life so different from others? Am I the worst sinner on this earth? Am I worse than any other person in this, uh, in this life? Other people get married. But they live happily in their husband's houses. I get married. I am being abandoned and humiliated. For the second time in my life, I am rejected by a man who ought to stand for me. What am I living for? I am being humiliated and treated like a coward criminal. But what am I living for? Just take my life. Take my life. I am tired of living in this kind of misery. I am tired. Just go away. No, I can't leave you Just alone. Just leave me alone. Rose, I can't leave you alone. Who knows what else you do to yourself? Rose! Rose, come, come. Don't take it easy now. I want you to understand that there is nothing new under the sun. But that even anything can ever happen to you without God's knowledge. That all things work together for good for those who trust in the Lord. My Bible also tells me 
that God's thoughts for us are of good and not of evil. So whatever is happening to you will be according to God's plan. Sometimes he allows certain things to happen to us so he can test our faith and strengthen us for his greater purpose. So cheer up, he cannot abandon you. Pastor, thank you very much. Now promise me you are going to be in church on Sunday. I promise I'll be in church on Sunday. Thank you, Pastor. Now can we pray? <coughs> In Jesus' name, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we thank you for making your word known to us today. You said that none of your words will come back to you without fulfillment. Yes. You also said that you cannot abandon anyone that trusts in you. Yes. Father, do not abandon your daughter at this moment of trial in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. What, what will your life become without God in your life? Oh, you go hit rock tire. Oh. I can see you're young and blind with much humility. But don't worry, He will set you free. From the hands of men, no oh, What is this that I'm going through? He loved me today Tomorrow you say you know they do You say you know they do What is this that I'm going through? He loved me today Tomorrow you say you know they do What is this, what is this that I'm going through? Tell me what is this Today, tomorrow you say you know that you say you know that you know this is this that I am crying for your love. You love me today. Tomorrow you say you know that too. She's broken to pieces. Her life is such a shame. These things where these men they do just to give her a bad name. She tried, yes, she tried. To be a good girl all her life But it seems that the man that she follows Don't know the road to tomorrow What is this that I'm going through? He loves me There's really no wound God cannot heal. And no matter how heartbroken we think we are, God always has a way to restore us back. The way you're going, Rose, you'll soon become a pastor yourself. <laughs> well, if that's God's calling for me, my dear, I will gladly accept it. Really? Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> and honestly, I think I think you should start, you know, taking the word of God seriously. You know? <laughs> I don't need a prophet to tell me that, Rose. I mean, considering what God is doing in your life. <laughs> we thank God for little mercies. So, um, how is James? I hope he's not merely leading you on. My dear, I can't read his mind yet. He treats me nice though, but I can't say if he has enough co uh, commitments that I need to marry him. Ebera, I think you should come to church on Sunday and, and you know, discuss this with the pastor. It could help you. It will help you. You think so? Mm hmm I am sure. I mean, with my experience, you know, I've come to realize that these things are not, they are not physical battle. They are spiritual. You see, that's why we need to just get closer to God because most times we don't know what goes on in the minds of people. Okay. You say so. I, I insist you have to come this Sunday. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then we'll have this midweek service on Wednesday. It's usually Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I asked you to stay behind for us to rub minds together and put finishing touches 
to our coming convention on Wednesday. And as God will have it, I've invited one of the pastors that will minister on that day. I've chosen a very good topic for him, and the topic is, for your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. My brothers and sisters, you see with me as we introduce the visiting pastor, a man of God, a firebrand. Join me as we welcome to our midst, Pastor Ikenna Oji. giving me this wonderful opportunity to be in your midst today. Like as Pastor has said, I look towards having a meaningful interaction with every one of you to share with you God's insight and purpose in our lives. The greatest sin that has been hindering our youth today is the sin of sexual immorality. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, this is just an introduction. Um, in due course, I shall share with you some personal, some personal testimony, which I believe will inspire some of you to turn around and make a statement for God. Amen? Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 God will bless you as you come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I told you, this is the firebrand. One of the ministers God has anointed to our youth. And on Wednesday, you are going to enjoy him more. Can we give a clap of it to Jesus? Amen. want to talk to me about? What do you have to say to me, Ike? You hypocrites! <laughs> I have seen that you've devised a new means of luring innocent girls into your devilish act. The usual humiliating style doesn't work anymore, right? Rose, please. Okay? I'm not the same person. I'm a changed man now. I'm not the same Ike you used to know. Of course. Please. I could not live with the guilt after what happened. So, so I, I know that the only way I could find peace was to give my life to Christ and, and, and start all over again. Please, I've looked for you everywhere to ask for your I forgiveness. Can. Listen, Please, I beg you for keep peace. away from me. Stay away from me. I hate you. I despise you. I hate everything you represent. Don't come close to me again. So this church, of course nobody will ever see me here again. Rose, listen, Rose, 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 I beg you in the name of God, please forgive me. I want you to help me and talk to her. I know that no work can undo the hurt that I've caused her in the past. But you see, I'm a different person now. I'm a changed man. I want you to help me and tell her that I love her so much. Look, Ike, Rose is going through a lot because of your cruelty to her. I really don't know what you want her to do now. I'll suggest you just leave her alone and let her be. Listen, I know I've hurt her deeply. Okay, but no sin, no matter how grave it is, they cannot be forgiven. Look, there is nothing I can do. The only thing I can advise you to do now is to just keep praying, keep begging, and who knows, you know... Nebere, you are her best friend. Yes, I 
both of you have been together from childhood. I, I know you're the best person and you're in the best position to help me and talk to her. I'm her best friend, but she's really hurt. So there's nothing I can do. I'm really sorry. Just keep praying. Listen, a better. I, I can't do anything. Sorry. <laughs> You know how strict we are on our principles and tenets. We don't just invite anybody to mount our pulpits. If I was not sure of Pastor Ike's true standing with God, I wouldn't have invited him in the first place to be one of the ministers in that conference. And my Bible tells me that when a man's ways are pleasing unto the Lord, and it causes his blessings to smile on him. Pastor Ike's ministry has impacted so much on a lot of our youths today. Maybe God is using him because he has a, enough past experiences to, to draw from. He has told me he has sought the face of the Lord regarding his intentions to marry Rose. Yes. Please talk, speak to Rose on his behalf. For if it is the will of God for both of them, she shouldn't be dwelling in unforgiveness. I've heard you, Pastor. See, I know how heavy my daughter's heart is at the moment. But I'll try my, my best. I'll talk to her. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything that you have done to make this work. And I promise you that I'll make it up to you. Whatsoever thing that you must have lost in the past, I'll make it up to you. All the trauma that you've been through, I'll make it up to you. And I'm standing here right now to promise you that I will love and cherish your daughter for the rest of my life. I want to thank you once more, Mama. Thank you, my dear. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Shall we pray over this? All right. Pastor, you lead us in this prayer. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you this minute because you are God. Yes, I Lord. give you all the glory. I thank you because there is none like you. I thank you because today is a day that you have made. You shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. I say take glory. I want you to come and I was a very big fool to have listened to him. If I knew back then what I know now, I wouldn't have made such a stupid, terrible mistake. Ever since then, every relationship that I got myself involved in never worked. My life has been miserable until I found Christ. But there is this little void which only you can fill. Let us not look at the past because the Bible says that all things are passed away and everything becomes new. I'm a new man now. Let's press for the future. God knows that I love you now more than ever. And together, we can prove every wrong. 
across. You see, Please marry me and I will cherish and adore you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Lucy, you see what you done? <laughs> You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you. Just sit down. Sit down. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh. Uh, let me formally say how truly sorry we are for our misjudgment. Well, actually, sir, I, I did not put any blame on you. You see, I can I have decided to put all of that behind us. That's lovely. That's lovely. We are free to call me father. Just feel free. It's your house. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. And you can call me mommy too. <laughs> Jealous. I know she must say something. Uh, Alice! Hurry up. Hurry up with the drinks now. Oh my god. Oh, that's really nice. I did. <laughs> I'm happy about it today at least. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. You see, um, I have wanted us to <laughs> Come on. It's food ready. Please set the table so we can all have a family dinner. Fast Good. egg. Good. Uh, <laughs> Yes, have you fixed the date yet? Um, actually that we are looking at the um, second week of July. Second week of July? Is that not too far? No. Oh, no, no. mom, so that we can have time to plan. It's <laughs> alright, it's alright. Uh, I assure you that we will leave nothing for that wedding. Thank I trust you. <laughs> I know what you can do. Yes. <laughs> what mommy can do. God. <laughs> I hope you like your drink. If you don't like it, I can go and get you something else to drink, okay? No, no, ma. Um, I'm really enjoying myself. You like it? Yes. It's yeah. really good. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Dresses. Surely it will be enough for the bridal train. Don't cry, Madam. The beauty heart. <laughs> Don't worry. I know the number of my bridal uh, maids. And what I have is just perfect. Okay. I know your brother that bought your own. Don't worry, your own is special. Mm -hmm. I'm ordering them specially by next week. Your shoes, your bag, your clothes. Next week? Um. Okay, I guess we still have some time. By the way, let me remind you that is my last maid of honor. <laughs> He's your servant, don't go for it. No, no, this is for real. Hmm? Gabriel proposed to me last night. No, it's a lie. It's true. It's a lie. It is true. Are you just telling me now? Well, I just wanted it to be a parting shot. Oh my goodness, it's a piece of good. Come here, come here, come here. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy. No, no, no. This calls for celebration. Oh, no. And it's going to be on my bill. Let me think. Um. Let's do Sheraton by the weekend. Sheraton? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, Rose, please. No, no, no. Don't worry. Things have changed. Let's do Sheraton on my bill. Okay, I'll think about it, so. I want a yes for an answer now. Okay. I don't yes. mind Gabriel coming along for you. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. All right, darling. I'll take care. Yeah, please say me well to him. I will. All right. Bye. Yeah, thanks for calling. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, yeah. yeah.
Oh, Mama, you are looking good. How is everybody? We are all fine. You're welcome. Oh, is my wife in? I'd like to see her. Chris, don't tell me you came back from America with a box full of jokes. Well, Mama, I, I know I messed up. I am sorry, okay? I, I, I'm here to just apologize and to make amends. Um, what I did was stupid, and I'm here to make amends. You really hurt my daughter. Bruce almost took her life because of you. And now, you think you can jump into a plane and fly down there to take back your wife? Impossible. Mama, I know words cannot explain how, how terrible I feel inside. But my, my plan is to come back here as I am right now, get married to her, and we go back to the States. No, it's too late. It's too late, Chris. Rose is wedding next week. Oh, Mama, that, that's, that's not possible. Why? I am married to Rose. We had our traditional wedding. She cannot get married. Ah, a more serious man is taking her to the altar. What do you expect her to do? To sit back and wait for you? No, After no, no, two no. years of emotional rest? No, 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 Mama, that can't work. What? I am legally married to her. We had our traditional wedding. I mean, I no, 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 she can't get with it. She cannot. I need to speak to her, please. I need to speak to her. I mean, oh, I realized I messed up. I realized I made a big mistake. I hate myself for what I did. My foolishness. Rose, I am sorry. You know, I'm back here so we can get married quickly and just leave for the States immediately, Rose. Okay, I love you. Now, sorry to bust your fantasy. Mr. Man, I think you're harassing my wife. If you have enough sense in your head, you see I was talking to my wife. In case you do not know, she is married to me. I don't want to see you feel this in her again. You are in no position to talk to me like that. What kind of a man are you? Huh? A man that abandons his wife after a traditional marriage? This is a 36 karat gold. Now, I'm giving this to you because I wish and I pray to God you will be my wife. Oh my God. And this is a key to a flat your mother will move into. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I love you, my love. I love you. To marriage. You thought I'd never know. Oh, I intended telling you. Oh, you intended telling me when I'm dead and buried, huh? How could you descend so low? How could you deceive me? You were a plaything of some stupid animal, and you pretended to be Holy Virgin Mary. Oh, save your breath! I am no more interested in this marriage. Period. What? No, 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 Christina, you can't do this. The, the wedding has already been fixed. It is cancelled. No more wedding, no more marriage. You should be ashamed of yourself and hide your face somewhere. Don't you dare me, mister! You think I don't know your story? You know what? Your story is as filthy as you are. Because you know what? Your black feeted ass can't do jack to me!
Kenapa sedih, Bud? Mungkin aku susuk kamu pas kecil setiap hari di kasih kamu. My mother told me that when a girl misses her period, that means she's pregnant. I'm not pregnant. You're not pregnant. Okay? You are not pregnant. You shouldn't say it. See, even that my useless ex-girlfriend, sometimes she misses hers for three weeks or one month, yet it comes. Okay? Come on, don't bother yourself. You'll see it. I can't. I am scared. <laughs> what if I'm actually pregnant? What will I do? That means I, I cannot go back to school again. What will I do? <laughs> You're not pregnant. Okay? Even if you were, I'll get married to you. Right? And you go back to school. Nobody can stop you as so long as you are legally married. Alright? Don't wipe it in. Yes. Ike. So, are you aware that this girl is pregnant? What? Pregnant? Am I supposed to know? But she says you are responsible. Me? My God! What sort of embarrassment is this? I mean, how can you present me before a common house girl just like that? In you, Rose, are you such a cheap gold digger? How many times have I had cause to warn you of, of other silly boys who run around with in the street? How many times? pretending to be a good girl and we took you in and treated you like our own daughter not knowing that you've been messing yourself around the whole estate with boys like a dog now you want to pin it on my son listen to me the first thing tomorrow morning i want you to pack your things and leave this house have you heard me now get out of my sight just get out jesus christ mama i can't even i can't even Imagine all this. You, you, you're looking I don't even know where you get this kind of people from. I don't know where you gather them from. Pin your pregnancy. Me pregnancy. I told you. I know my son. You can't do that. Lucy. That girl is just looking for who to pin her pregnancy. Lucy. Me, I trust my son. I know you won't do it. Get this black tight fitted ass into this really car and get out of here. Otherwise, I'll oh, you do you do you do Shut up! What have I done to deserve so much hurt from you? Why would you show up when I try to pick the pieces of my life and move on? Why do you always show up to spoil things for me? You walked out on me when I needed you most. And now. You're back when I don't even need you. Exactly. Shut up! You shut up! You shut up! You're an idiot! Oh my god. Look at this you don't even know. Oh, you just Hell, you shut would. up! Tell me, is it too much to ask for a simple peace of mind and happiness? Is it too much to ask for? Exactly. Oh, shut, so shut up! up with the what the hell do you think you're doing? You shut up! Shut up! I swear to God, I'll whoop your black ass! You shut up! You don't even know it! Listen, you don't even know it! Rose, 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 please, please, my dear, please, my love, I love you. Okay, I made a mistake. I, I messed up. I screwed up. Now get your hand off my woman. Get your hand off my woman. Listen, listen, listen. Get up. Listen, listen. Do you know me? Look at this. Do you know me? Do you know me? Rose, let us. I don't want to do this. Excuse me, sir. I don't want. I get out of here. Get up. Get up. Get up. Run! 